So here's some highlights from a debate I had with one of Britain's leading fascists. And it's hard to believe, but this guy's actually been to Cambridge and studied politics. He's called Paul Rimmer. Enjoy. Obviously, the, the Jews stole the land from the Arabs. I mean, that's not even contested. In 1900, there was maybe 4,000 Jews in Palestine, 400,000 Arabs. They had that's no claim to that land Where did you get your numbers from? <laughs> My numbers are from the Jews. There was a Jewish quarter in Jerusalem. And there was a few other small the Jew, the Jewish Jews with the majority population of Jerusalem since 1850. That's a lie. In 1853, yeah? So I said 1850s. I heard Jews with the majority in Jerusalem. You said, no, there weren't, mate. There were only 4,000 Jews in the 1900. So 50 years before you said, there were 8,000 Jews in Jerusalem and 4,000 Muslims. That's a cause of the, according to Caesar Famine, who was a French diplomat based in, in, in um, Jerusalem. The following year, the British two minutes, two minutes. The, the following in the following year in 1854, the British consulate, the British consulate, came out and said there were 8,000 Jews and 4,500 Muslims. So there's a 500 Pierce person different. The French say there were 4,500 Muslims. Sorry, 4,000. Okay, make your point. I mean, I, 4, I can dispute all these figures, but what's your point? My point was you're wrong. Now watch what happens when this Oxbridge fascist tries to claim that Roosevelt was controlled by the Jews. After 1945, with the American conquest of Europe, Western Europe, the Jews were given incredible power over our media, our education system and our politics. And they introduced their own ideology of cultural Marxism, which is an attempt to destroy the Christian people. Who gave them that power? The Americans. Which Americans? Well, Roosevelt, of course, FDR, he was behind. Why, why, why course, did Roosevelt give the Jews power over the media? Well, the Jews had uh, taken control of America in the 1920s. They oh, taken so the, 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 the Jews were controlling Roosevelt, or Roosevelt was controlling the Jews? Well, I mean, I, I don't do, I, I would, you could say Woodrow Wilson was the first president to be totally controlled by the Jews, but certainly FDR was. So she I have to... a question for uh, Rimmer. Sorry. Oh, yes, um, thank you. Because... Hey man, so like you said that like the Jew like the Jews uh, were in control of FDR, but um, yeah. if that's true, why didn't FDR like um, welcome more uh, Jewish immigrants trying to escape anti-Semitism in, in in Germany? Didn't he like close the borders to them? Well, you see, every specific policy has a specific context. The overall context is this. The, 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 the FDR was totally committed to the Americanization of Europe. He was a totally committed to the American invasion of Western Europe. All right. He was you totally didn't really committed. Question, though, Paul. Yeah, I kind of feel like, because if he's being controlled yeah, by the Jews... Yeah, but you can nitpick in... little things like this, right? But the, the, the truth is, there is an Sorry. overall strategy, a grand strategy, and that's what we need to discern. That's the mistake Joseph as well. He's not making a mistake. It's a deliberate policy. He, he, he's ignoring the grand strategy of the Zionists to steal the land from the Arabs. My favourite part of the debate was when this Cambridge educated, Cambridge educated fascist tried to say that the Jews were behind the demise of the West. Look how solid his argument is. The Who method... was behind Marxism? Who was behind communism? Who was behind atheism? Who was behind this cultural Marxism? All the major figures were Jewish intellectuals. All of them. Yeah, but I intellectually disagree, though, uh, with Paul. I agree on lots of things. I intellectually disagree. I believe communism, uh, Marxism were all downstream from liberalism. Without well, liberalism, there are multiple you actors. never got Trotsky. So Marx is 1848, right? So Marx is 1848. Trotsky is 1920s, 30s. All of those depend on Marx. Marx is 1848, depending on Darwin. But they all depend on Locke and Hume. And all those Enlightenment thinkers, they weren't Jewish. They were European. So if you go hey, Ralph, you, you should know this guy. The guy who came from Portugal to, to Holland, who was the uh, Jewish philosopher. What was his name? Began with S. Spinoza. Spinoza. Spinoza, yeah. yeah he was the father Spinoza. of liberalism. No, but really, no, but deeper, Paul, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I live in actually, actually, actually it goes to Martin Luther, and Martin Luther only happens because Galileo and Kepler challenged the uh, supremacy of the Bible. 
No, so I disagree with that entirely, value. Ralph. No, I don't think that's theologically sound at no, all. No, no, Have you read any Spinoza? Not, not, not theologically. Yeah, I did a study on him. I forgot most of it, but I remember he was the birth of liberalism, know, challenging the sacred text. No, I, I don't know, the that's thing you disagree. remember about Spinoza was that he was Jewish. Now, I'll tell you this about Spinoza, right? <laughs> Spinoza challenged the divine nature of Scripture. He said it was not divine. This was the right. essence of liberalism. No, but, but no, 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 Paul. So hang on. Spinoza was very specific because of his views of, of, of a, a strange philo philosophical uh, a monism concept. But no, no, in, intrinsically in the European canon is when Galileo and Kepler, the non religious. No, reasons, no, that's scientific no, determinism, no, 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 Ralph. That's no, no, not no, true. No, no, no. When Galileo and Kepler, for non religious reasons. I, I think Spinoza was the, was the central figure. You don't central, get Spinoza was the central figure in the development no. of liberalism. You don't get, see, you don't get Protestantism. It can't, that. it can't possibly be the other people, Ralph, because they're not Jewish. It has to be. No, no, Jewish. because <laughs> right, okay, you develop it. You develop it, you develop it from there. Spinoza's undermining the sacred text. This you is the don't key. know any of Spinoza's ideas. <laughs> You're like <laughs> he's the guy behind. I, well, I, you know, I, I, I know sufficient of Spinoza well, to know. Me not to take you too seriously when you don't even know his works and you, you're Listen, blaming him for all the ills in society. Forgive well, me. Well, I could go to Karl Marx seriously. then, right? I know the works of Karl Marx, right? Karl Marx was in it, his father was his grandfather was a rabbi. He was inherited of the Jewish tradition. He was married into the Phillips family in Holland. who were Jews. He, he was. His whole philosophy was anti-Christian. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support our work, you can do so on Patreon or by purchasing our merch. And make sure that you're following us on all of our social media, especially YouTube. So head over there, Israel Advocacy Movement, and share this video. Hit the like button. Share it with as many people as possible. Thanks for watching.